Hey friends, Tux here, and I have to apologize, this is not the video I was expecting I'm making, this is a haul video, okay, and it might also be a little bit of a rant video, so my day's been a really weird one, I just need a vent, I guess, so um, here here goes, basically, my day started kind of weird, it started with an email I got, and it was from the Qua Box Company, I hope I'm saying that right, um, basically they offer promotional copies of things to people um, for review purposes, to YouTubers, you know, and I've gotten promotional boxes from other companies and whatnot, and so it's not unusual for me to get something and basically I didn't mind them saying no that's fine but what surprised me is the way they did it. they basically said that my channel wasn't you know basically focused enough on Japanese culture or like cute kawa things and I know that you know I do some other types of toys and whatnot but it's really surprising to me because I focus a lot on that stuff I mean basically uh, it's a lot more than most other male youtubers do you know, so it really surprised me that they they said that. So, anyways, a little bit of a letdown, you know. I don't know the box that well, and I haven't heard all good things about it necessarily. So, I wasn't totally disappointed not getting one. But I wanted to see it for myself, you know, and judge it for myself. Anyway, so to cheer myself up, uh, basically, I was taking my car in for some warranty work. And I was getting a lift back. And from that point, we decided to do a toy haul. So we went to Miami and had a great time doing some shopping. I went to a real arcade. Can you believe this? In Miami, if you're in Miami, there's actually a real arcade. And so it was great. I checked it out. It's called Arcade Odyssey, I believe is the name of it. And they have like, you know, they have land party stuff. They have like pinball machines. They have arcade machines, like uh, Japanese versions of arcade machines. Like really cool place. I'd highly recommend it if you're in Miami to check this out. Um, you can Google it or whatever, or ask me in the comments and I can help you out with directions. But really great place. It was great to see an arcade operating, you know, in 2016 because I haven't seen one in a while, guys. You know, so it was pretty cool seeing that. And it's exactly the type of business I would love to run someday, to be honest with you. I would, I would love to have a place that sells, you know, Japanese sodas and has land parties and has arcade machines and all that type of thing. I don't know how much money it would generate, to be honest with you, but it would definitely be a labor of love for me, you know. Um, all the toys and everything. They had, they had a crane machine with Pac-Man, you know. Like, it was such a fun thing. So, anyway, I was really pumped seeing an arcade. So, from that point, um, the day got much, much better and basically um, did some toy hauling, you know. And again, I wasn't expecting to do this because I haven't actually even been through all my toy haul stuff from the previous video. As you know, there's stuff I want to get to and I will be getting to very shortly. But anyway, I wanted to show you what I bought today, though, anyway, to add this to the kind of the queue list. And if there's something in here that totally floats your boat, let me know in the comments below and I will try and bump it up the list and start a little earlier. These are in no particular order. Um, we'll start with this one here. This is a uh, Target. I wasn't sure quite what to buy, and I ended up getting this um, little tin. And I know there's been a lot of requests for Pokemon, and this looked really great. And this this EX card that comes with it looked awesome. And so I decided to go ahead and pick up this tin. And of course, this comes with some booster packs, which would be great. And of course, it comes with uh, lots of fun stuff inside. You know, a special EX card, uh, a code card, blah blah blah. But the packs were the main thing, and this great EX card and the, the cool tin too. You know, so anyway, it wasn't a figure, but you know, it was a tin. So I thought that was cool. So I picked that up. Then moving along here. Went to a GameStop. At least, wait, is this from GameStop? No, actually, this is from Hot Topic. This is in the wrong bag. We had to shuffle some bag stuff around. I could not believe I found these. And they didn't have a full case, okay? So otherwise, I probably would have bought the case. But anyway, this looks really cool. Of course, what you're seeing here is the Mermaid Caesar, the Tokidoki mermaids so very cool i love the clear box man with the with on the tokidoki bag inside of the clear box really cool packaging we'll talk more about this when the time comes but um never seen them before hopefully i get a chaser and um so i picked up four of these bad boys to check out down the road so we will check those out for the first time and then going to a toys R Us here i got let me see here oh this one does have a figure check this out this actually, um, I don't think I reviewed this before. I don't know how this is like kind of snuck by me. Uh, maybe it just came out. Um, Gyarados, and it has a cool figure, some cards. So we're gonna have lots of Pokemon coming up. I know you guys are digging the Pokemon. And oh, I have to say, some people are reporting that they're actually getting Pokemon Go beta codes, like now, like they're actually saying accepted, you know? And I know one of my friends from Japan just recently got accepted. And then I seen another one, which appeared to be a US exception, like saying you're accepted, exception letter um, to the program. So anyway, let me know if anyone, if you legitimately 
No, like, you know, shenanigans, please. You know, but if you legitimately get accepted, let me know in the comments below. I, I would love to hear details of Pokemon Go. So if you got accepted, please let me know. And um, hopefully I'll be accepted sometime down the road, too, because I have lots of coverage. I want to be giving away Pokemon and catching Pokemon for people and helping out. And actually, you know, hopefully through the community, um, I can contribute and you guys can help me out, too, because I know I'll need some help catching some Pokemon as well. So anyway, looking forward to Pokemon Go. And it looks like we are one step closer and that is awesome, guys. I'm so pumped. Um, anyway, so there's all that. And then finally here, this is actually from GameStop. And this is from GameStop in the Falls in Miami. And I got two more of the special pops. And I guess this one is only a GameStop, Sto uh, Soldier 76. And, of course, we have Tracer here, too. He seems to be kind of like a fan favorite. Everyone seems to love Tracer. So I'm going I'm to try and do my impression here. <clears throat> okay, ready? Cheers, love. The company's here. That That's really bad. Okay, I'm probably going to have to edit that out. Um, I cannot do a British accent for the life of me. But anyway, I'm really pumped that they got two of these here. And um, I like the Tracer one. Man, check out the, like, translucent, like, goggles and stuff. Very, very cool. And he looks really awesome, too. So, anyway, really pumped. Um, trying to catch the whole Overwatch collection. And I have to say, man, I, I they're missing out. They really need to make a pop vinyl, okay, of D.Va. I don't know if you've noticed this thing exploded over the internet in the last day or two, but basically all over the internet is fan art of D.Va, the Korean gamer girl in Overwatch, um, with Cheetos, or not Cheetos, Doritos, um, all over her mouth, and Dorito dust on her fingers, and like guzzling Mountain Dew, Code Red, and there's this whole thing going on with her, so I would love it if they'd make a pop vinyl of D.Va with, you know, Dorito face and Dorito fingers, and like maybe the accessory could be like a two liter of Mountain Dew. I think that would be awesome. Oh my god, I would so buy that. But um, anyway, guys, I just wanted to show you some quick little preview of some of the stuff I got. Hopefully, you like some of the things that we're going to be unboxing here in the days ahead. Let me know what you like the best. And again, you can enter, have an advanced entry in my giveaway by saying, Enter me in this very video, okay? All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to check out Tux Toys on Instagram and Twitter. Sometimes when I do these road trips, actually, I put like candid shots on Instagram so uh, or Twitter, but usually Instagram. So sign up to those. That way you can kind of see some behind the scenes stuff. Sometimes videos, sometimes photos. A lot of fun on Tux Toys on Instagram, okay? And Twitter. And then also be sure to check out Tux Reviews, my review channel. And of course, my upcoming Pokemon Go channel, Gamer Tux, okay? All right, guys. Again, thank you very much for watching this. Have a good one. We'll talk to you soon. And let me know what you're collecting, okay? All right. Bye-bye.